guys and welcome back to my channel welcome back to july's primark video primark haul should i say because i i tell you what this is what i'm excited for i did pick up another massive bag full of clothes and if you've watched the come shop with me there's two prior videos to this that is the primark come shop with me of the fashion accessories etc everything in store and the Primark Home Come Shop With Me for July. Both of those videos are gonna be listed down below, so if you wanna see everything that is new in store, that is those videos, and this is my picks of the month. If you are new around here, I do Primark videos every single month. I head into store, look around right at the beginning so you don't have to. You can watch that, figure out if it's worth going into store and spending your hard-earned money. Speaking of money, and more importantly, saving money, this beginning part of the video is very kindly sponsored by Top Cashback in collaboration with Shein. My Shein parcel has arrived and I really want to quickly show you what I got. The Top Cashback at the moment are doing a bonus cashback deal with Shein. So at the moment you're watching this video on the 14th of July there is currently a 16% cashback rate it's a boosted rate as of after today so the end of the 14th of July so the 15th of July through to the 31st that is going down to 15% so it's just a percent off but if you're watching this on my upload day jump on it. Before I show you what I got though, I do have to tell you guys, I have got a £12 bonus cashback for you. So if you are brand new to Top Cashback, they are offering you £12 straight away into your account once you've made your first purchase. There is no minimum spend on this. You can shop any of their thousands of retailers. The only site it excludes is takeaway and free cash back sites. I don't know where I'd be without cash back. Honestly, I get hundreds of pounds back a year and I love to look at it as in like, that's just a bonus for me doing the shopping I already do. You're probably gonna make a purchase in the next few days anyway, we all do online. So I will leave the steps down below, but basically click on my link, then you're gonna wanna sign up. You can search in the search bar on top cashback, any of your favorite retailers. So for example here, I looked up Shein. You can scroll down, it'll give you all the information about the brand and obviously the offers that are on at the moment. You can see that I managed to get the 16% on this one. You click the get cash back now button Button, which will redirect you to the website and then you can complete your purchase as normal on there. I was looking at this jumpsuit. I never actually ended up getting it from Shein, but I was very tempted to. And just to give you a little perspective of what you would be saving if you were using Top Cashback, this was £13.49, this jumpsuit. And I got from just shopping via Top Cashback, no other reason, simply because I went via their website, I got £2.16 back from just that item if I was to buy it. I bought different stuff, but it's to give you perspective. And if it was the 15%, it would be two pound and five pence, six pence, I think. Do you see what I mean? So it automatically makes that item two pound cheaper. I just can't see why people wouldn't use it. So I picked up a few things from Shein. The first item I've had my eye on this dress for a while, it is this very pretty little lemon floral number. It's a little tiny bit see-through, but nothing and uh, no VPL underwear will sort out. I then picked up these denim shorts. Look how amazing these are unfortunately though they don't fit me i need to get a bigger size this dress is stunning i might have to take it on holiday with me honestly i wasn't expecting this to look like the model on the picture but it really really does i think i'm definitely taking this one on holiday as well it is a lovely like neutral romper so easy to chuck over bikinis and when you're on holiday that'd be good for gardening as well actually when i just want to chuck something on if this looks good i think this will be my airport set but i got a cohort and it is double lined really good quality here's the top and here's the long skirt this could be if it isn't too see-through this could be a very cute airport outfit final clothing item how cute is this little bandeau top with the cowboy boots on them i'm gonna get a lot of use out of this and finally sticking on cowboy boots i had to get a pair of shoes look at these babies holy macaroni aren't they gorgeous so just by doing that order alone on Shein, that was around £100, so I automatically got £16 back from that order. It is seriously a no-brainer. I will leave all the information down below for top cashback and the bonus with Shein, as well as obviously the sign-up bonus as well. All the information is down in the description box. Right, let's get into the bag. I'm gonna start off with one of the Rita Ora collection pieces. This was definitely one of the items that I beelined as straight for when I seen it. I love a bit of white lace. I 
have already worn this for a, another video. It was on top of the pile in the bag and I just wanted a different top for filming. So I put this one on and I wasn't showing it in the beginning, but I wore it throughout the video and actually I decided I really like it. So I'm going to keep it. The only issue is it is a very see-through. Uh, so I did wear this without a bra and it isn't too obvious, but I kind of felt a little bit like exposed, but to be honest, it, it doesn't really show. So obviously this was the Rita Ora collection, as I said, and for a little strappy lacy top, this was £14, so a little bit steep. I know you guys always appreciate me telling you the truth when it comes to prices, because there is, they, they need to be called out. Some stuff is just too much for what it is. And I will make it my personal mission to scream and shout about that because we don't want them to go any higher than they need to be. We all love Primark because it's affordable. It ain't gonna be affordable much longer if they keep going the way they're going. The next item I got is a, another pair of shorts. Now I've taken a punt on these. You will know if you are a regular viewer of my Primark hauls that I I struggle with the white. To be honest, I struggle with white shorts in a lot of brands. They always end up being very see-through. So you will be seeing on the try on clip if that is the case or not. I really want to like these though because I picked them up in the black last month and I wore them so much when I was on my Mediterranean cruise. They were just the perfect whack on by the pool shorts and yet you could just walk to the buffet in them and stuff like that. You like, they were just easy and so comfortable. They're like this kind of cheesecloth fabric, but I loved as well the high details with the tassels on them and they were eight pounds. Another little lacy number, I remember picking this up in store, there was only one random one on the shelf and it was expensive. So this little top here, I thought it was adorable, it's definitely very Zara H&M-esque. So it's one of those high neck tops which I love, I think it really suits my um, personal figure. You've got a little button at the back with a little keyhole detail and then of course you've just got lacing and it, it is really a really really pretty top. They only had it in a size 14 so I went with that one and it was £14. So as I said this is steep, it will have to look good, it's got that slight peplum again but £14 is a little bit cheaper than you would pay in Zara or H&M for the same item. As you can see, I've been loving the whites. I might just stick on white. Did I just pick up? Yes, I just picked up a plain beach shirt. The holiday shop section in Primark this year is better than last year. It's not amazing, but it's better than last year. They've got loads of these linen style tops that you can choose in literally every color. You can't fault them there. And I picked this one up in medium and it was only eight pounds. And as you can see, they run very oversized. I love a bit of ditzy floral, so I I couldn't resist when I seen this lovely top. Now I'm pretty gutted because I've been watching other people's come shop with me's and other stores. I think they had a skirt that went with this. I would have 100% picked up the skirt to go with it if I'd seen it. But I do really like this top. Again, I have tried this one on before because I just really wanted to see if it looks nice because it is that ditzy floral and it's a creamy beige. It fits really nice, but this peplum, I'm not sure if it's the most flattering. Because my smallest point is my waist, it's kind of the bit I want to accentuate so really pull in rather than you know flare out that's why peplums are touch and go with me but with like skinny jeans or something this could be okay but obviously in summer we're not really wearing skinny jeans apart from the summer because it has been pants so maybe I will keep this uh, but this guy I got in a size large it is obviously fully stretchy and it was only seven pounds they are the prices I like to see. Now I picked up this denim skirt from the Rita Ora collection and I am 90% sure I'm gonna return it, but I really, really, really wanted it and I really wanted to try it. I'm 90% sure I'm gonna return it because I'm just not a denim skirt person. I've also got quite big hips. I'm very hourglass, so as I was saying about cinching the waist, we also like to make sure we don't accentuate the hips. I picked up this skirt. They did it in the blue denim and they did it in this beige denim and I just wanted to try it out because it's so lovely with the like peplum. It's like a peplum skirt. Really good quality. I picked this one up in two sizes up so I got a 16. To be honest I'm more of a 14 now on the bottoms. I've been slacking on the gym. So I got it in a 16 and it was 16 pounds. Another ditzy floral number and this one is a dress. I didn't know whether to pick this up and I didn't know what size either because I run the risk of this looking like a nighty. Oh, I forgot I got this. Okay, this is another Rita Ora piece. I thought it was the exact same version as the white one that I picked up and I'm not 100% if it is or isn't. I have a feeling I'm gonna like this one a lot more than the white one because this one won't seem see-through because it's a darker fabric. I just love all of these lacy numbers and you know what I'm thinking? I'm thinking the brown one is gonna be more versatile as well because 
this is very like country and I've got the long road festival I've got a couple of country events that I need outfits for and this this could work both ways because it's not overly country either. You could wear this anywhere, really. Again, part of the Rita Ora collection is it's still £14. Yes, it is. And I got this one in a medium. Sticking on brown. Was this part of the Rita Ora? Yes, it was. Uh, but it is just the regular Primark. Oh my gosh, I didn't notice that. <laughs> I was going to say it's just the regular Primark um, like Skims dupe bodysuit. And I've got it in the white, the black, the beige. So when I seen the brown, I was like, yes, please. I don't think I can film one video without Jerry going bonkers downstairs at something. I just grabbed this off the hanger because I thought it was the same as that, but in this lovely chocolate brown colour. Uh, but now I've held it up. <laughs> what on earth okay so this is this is not this is not the back that i want to see that looks like a wedgie in an outfit uh so unfortunately this is probably gonna have to go back i still will try it on because i guess the whole point is you're meant to see the top of it out of jeans or shorts or something uh that is not my style in the slightest if i can get away with it and it doesn't look or feel uncomfortable then i'll keep it because this was eight pounds so that's the same price yeah, that was the same price as the regular ones. Is this another brown piece? Yes, it is. Oh, in the shorts section, I just grabbed these because I'm desperate for comfy shorts that look half decent. And these are a really nice espresso brown colour. So they're not that warm brown. They're that, like, deep coffee bean colour. So I picked these up in a medium because they were only £8. But you can kind of see from the shift on the camera... They are very flowy and comfortable. I'm not sure if this is going to be a bit unflattering because this feels slightly tight and this doesn't sit on your waist, it'll sit on your hips. Also, I don't want these to look like obviously pyjama bottoms and look too relaxed. So I just try loads of the Primark shorts because like the white ones that I picked up, the black ones are just fabulous. So if I can find a really good pair, I will stick with them. Oh, a little wild card number I got. Now I really don't know how this is going to look. I haven't wore one of these since I was about eight nine years old but i got drawn in to the ditzy floral again this was the only item on its own and it was in a size large and it was 12 pounds so i thought right well i'll give it a go it's a gypsy skirt um so a gypsy skirt is like these really long essentially it's a maxi skirt but we used to call them gypsy skirts back in the day i don't know if you are allowed to still or if that's what they're referred to as. I just thought this was very sweet. Now, I'll probably just wear this with a white bodysuit, or I did also pick up this little crop top, and this was in the Rita Ora section, but it isn't part of the Rita Ora collection, and I picked up the black version last month, and I love it. Wear it a lot, what took it on the cruise on holiday, uh, and this is just the cream version, and as you can see, it's got that, it's not embroidery, it's literally like a kink in the fabric that makes it floral, and I thought maybe these could look cute together, but now I'm holding them up. This is looking very, very yellow next to this. I also need to check if this is going to be see-through, because there's a high chance that that is the case, but I picked this up in a medium, and it was only four pounds. So Right, this might be my airport outfit for Friday. I picked up another one of the Primark play suits. Uh, no, what are these called? Unitards. This one is in a whitey cream colour, so I am definitely going to have to feel confident to wear this. Uh, so there's a high chance again that this is going to be see-through. I'm not going to be able to show you even a trial and clip maybe. If you don't see a trial and clip for anything, it means it doesn't fit and I wasn't able to because I'll, I'll always do a trial and clip if I can. Skims dupe alert. This is new and it is lovely. As you can tell from this colour I'm wearing. In fact, this is a brand new dress I got from Primark. I forgot to show you all. I picked it up on a whim. It literally is just this dress here, which I really like. I've been wearing it the last couple of days. It's easy, it's flowy, and it's like a like a little tartan print on it, really. But I love a sage green, which brings me to this item, which I bolted over to when I seen it. This, again, is very figure-hugging, so it may not look so flattering. We will just have to see. But it's a very thick material, so I think with the right underwear on, like no VPL again, so it doesn't cling, uh, this could look really nice. But then again, you might have to be a size six and have no chub whatsoever. It's got no split at the bottom, which is the only thing I'm concerned about because if there's no split, sometimes you just feel too like, it's like sucked in, like you don't have anywhere to walk. I love a little slit in a dress. I just was really drawn to this. I love the color. I love this material. Like it is just a very easy dress for summer. I really hope this looks nice because it was only 10 pounds. I picked it up in a size medium and to be honest, the size medium 
looks very generous. Oh, we've got a couple of black numbers now. What is this? I don't remember picking this up. Oh, oh, okay. I don't remember picking this up, but this is another, I suppose, unitard uh, slash play suit, but it's just a black, like almost swimsuit fabric one. And it's got a scoop neck. I mean, it, it literally looks like one of those dive suits. <laughs> it looks like a wetsuit. A bit thinner than a wetsuit, thankfully, but it does just zip all the way up the back. Um, hmm, I'm not sure I'm gonna, I must have just had a moment, must have just had a moment where I thought I needed this. Picked it up in a size M and it's 12 pounds. I will be interested to see what this looks like on, but I have a feeling this is not going to be me. Okay, don't, don't shout at me. Uh, to be fair, you can't because the weather has been, like I said, very bad this year so far. And when I was in Primark, I might have accidentally slipped and fell hands first into the jumper section because I was a bit like, well, as it's been so bad and already we might as well just go start shopping for autumn, right? They started this new like graphic jumper section. So they're all folded up and I spotted this one and I really liked it. It's just a black jumper with this beige writing on it that says, uh, Bowier, Bow, Bowyer's Street, Manhattan, and it's got coordinates on it. And it's brushed cotton inside, so it's very, very warming. It's maybe, maybe a little bit warm. I'll give the British weather some kind of credit because although the sun ain't shining, there is high pressure, so it's kind of warm. But at the night time, it can get chilly, so this could be a nice throw over. And if not, I will hold it back for the autumn months. But yeah, this was only six pounds. You see that? Six quid. And they had quite a few designs, but they're all quite childish. Whereas this, I thought was very, sophisticated and put together. I'm enjoying the dresses I am and I will also very much look forward to autumn where I can pop on some leggings and some nice check shirts and sweatshirts again because that probably is, that's my vibe. But jumping straight back into um, very, a very summery item. I picked this up for my holiday that I'm going to on Friday with my girlfriends. We're going to Portugal and uh, I picked up this, which is so bright. The camera is not even focusing on it. It's so neon. This is a sarong and I don't own a sarong at all. They only came in one size and it was four pounds. They did have some lovely bikinis that went with it. They went at this really affordable bikini. If you haven't seen the video, there's this like orange and pink floral bikini. I have never seen it, never seen a bikini so cheap in Primark. The top was £2.50 and it was beautiful. This is probably the item, it's not probably, this is the item I am most excited for. Please fit. It is a wonderful, wonderful linen romper this looks like something that is from like and other stories or like mango or something something a little bit higher up than like h&m or zara because the quality is here guys it is literally just a linen jumpsuit and it looks like proper linen it doesn't say it's made with real linen but it looks like proper linen the top half is also double lined up here so you don't have to wear a bra with it and the back has got this little tie-up detail this was only 20 pounds as well and I, not only i don't think that's super cheap but for this quality I could see with all of these price hikes that Primark's doing, I thought that they would try and list this for like 30 quid and put it in the white label section. But no, kudos to them, 20 quid for this, the quality of it, if this looks lovely, I'm going to be more than happy paying 20 pounds for this. I can see a lot of people really liking this. I'm so excited to try it on and style it up. Oh, I picked up another linen number. Ooh, I don't remember what this is. What is it? Oh, shorts, not shorts, trousers. As you can see, it's the same linen, but I, is it gonna come up on camera? There is very fine gold pinstriping in it. They're extremely fine, but they are just tiny little speckles of gold that sparkle every now and again. I've been loving my trousers. Unfortunately, again, I'm expecting these to be very see-through just because I can literally see my lights through this. I'll try them on with no VPL, like beige underwear though, to give it the benefit of the doubt. Um, but look at the bottom as well. It's all frayed. It just is very beachy. You've got the tie waist detail, which actually is a tie waist. I got them in a size large and they were 16 pounds. I picked up a pair of cycling shorts. I've never seen this color in Primark before. It's like a grayish, I'll say grayish, but like it's more of an espresso gray. These are in a size large, which are looking smaller and smaller every day in Primark. I don't know if they're trying to save money on the material, um, but please don't be like H&M Primark. Kudos to them though, because this is still only three pounds. I say only, I'm sure they have gone up in price over the years, but I'm happy paying three pounds. We've got a white dress. 
yeah, okay. Oh, I don't remember picking this up. Okay, it's just a basic white dress. It's very similar to the style that I'm wearing now from Primark. By the way, this was £10, this dress. And this one is 12 And that'll be because it's that sort of cheesecloth fabric where it's got the little indents in it. Obviously, you've got the frill on this little layer here. And then there is actually a little bit of lacing detail just along here and along the sweetheart neckline there. It has got a tie-up back as well, just to add a little detailing in it. So there is a little bit more detail than the dress I'm wearing. But yeah, this could just be comfortable. I actually don't remember picking this up. So after I go shopping, me and my mum go and get a coffee in Greg's before I go down and film Primark home because I need a caffeine refuel. When she came over, she showed me this dress and she said, oh, I just seen this and I was like, oh my gosh, that is so cute. And so she took me back to where it was and I picked myself up one. I'm not usually a polka dot girl but I loved this dress look how cute it is it's black with the white polka dots and the lettuce hem the lettuce hem goes all around the top and both of the strap there's two straps I say both of the straps have two straps on them it is very thin like I can see through the fabric but obviously because it's black it's forgiving you haven't got to worry too much about that it looks like a good length again it's a comfy dress like I'm wearing now when it's hot and you want to look put together and you just can't be bothered these kind of dresses are exactly what you need again this one was 12 pounds i picked this one up in a size large though i think it's because that's all they had left last clothing item before i show you some primark beauty beauty sale and accessories i grabbed this last minute hence why it's at the bottom of my bag because it was the last thing i put in my cart another and final i was gonna say rita aura collection but it doesn't say that on the tag it was in the Rita Ora collection though. This is a denim skirt. Did I pick this up in a size 12? Well, that was a mistake. Saying that, it's got a little bit of stretch in it, so we might be okay going through to size. Y'all know, it's all over the shop. I've been seeing everyone in Midaxi denim skirts and I love the way they look. I just don't know if it's gonna suit my body shape. But I thought, do you know what? Last minute, grabbed it. Let's just give it a go. You don't know unless you try. He who dares wins, as Del Boy would say. Uh, so I picked this one up. It was in the Rita Ora collection. It's not Rita Ora, but it was um, 15 pounds. And like I said, it has got a little stretch in it. So it is uh, mid-axi. I'd say that's sort of mid-calf. And at the back, it has got the split. Because obviously you need to have a give somewhere. Oh yeah, I've got a couple of sale items. I got a new in beauty as well. Oh, and I got one jewellery. I'll start on the jewellery. I just must have randomly decided I fancied these earrings. They are the twisted hoops. Now, I don't know if I'm going to keep these. I hate to say it, but they remind me of like Vicky Pollard. <laughs> like very like chavy but they're not obviously they're not dressed up in a nice way they look perfectly fine i think they just got a bad name from characters and things but yeah i just i fancied it clearly three pound fifty though <sighs> Primark. these were like one one pound fifty back in the day what is this 200 percent markup there wasn't loads of new in jewelry so there wasn't anything i pounced on i picked up a lot of jewelry in my last haul which was gorgeous by the way that was some of the uh, Paula Echeverria stuff that they did. Um, but this jewellery, I was just mentioning it while I've got it in my ear, but I'm wearing these hoops right now and they are so cute. Look at these, they're like little bamboo cane. It is adorable. And these are like 18 karat gold vermeil plated. So I will leave these linked down below. They're handmade. They're like this really cute little brand um, that I'm working with, not in this video, but I just wanted to show you because I really like them. Better to spend this sort of money and get decent hoops that are gonna last for ages. I don't even think these are that expensive um, rather than three pound 50. It is a false economy, that sort of stuff. It really is, but I do get sucked in. I bought another pack of the three reusable cleansing pads. These are really good. They have transformed my cleansing routine. I love them. I took them on holiday because I didn't want to bring a whole pack of like cotton wipes. And plus I want to be a bit more sustainable. This is £2.50 for this pack. And I love that they're black because they, you can't tell when they're dirty. I still obviously wash them. But if they were white, I just think they would look a lot a lot worse the three different sizes is really good as well so i just put a bit of my cellar water on it and honestly irrespective of whether the goal is like to reuse things and make sure you don't have such an eco footprint or whatever these are actually so much more pleasurable to wipe on your skin they're like wiping a pillow they're so so nice if you haven't got these already give them a go i then found a dupe in store of the what is it called the eternal muse 
curlers not the one you put over your head that has like everybody has the big long one it is like the space bun version so i i was looking to get them from eternal muse but i seen that primark had these the ps bun heatless curler set and it says wrap hair around satin curlers and secure into place uh, to achieve beautiful heatless curls so these were three pounds you basically have them like on top of your head like mini mouse like that i just think they may be a bit more comfortable than the big long one i have got that from eternal muse and i don't mind sleeping in it it's not comfortable but it's not uncomfortable so i'm gonna give this a go for three pounds before i go ahead and buy the eternal muse one for any of you who are regular viewers you will know that this is a bit of a deja vu product i picked this up last time and i returned it because i thought no i don't need two of them because i bought three of different the three different colors that were available but I absolutely love the one that I bought already. It was called, um, I'll show you, hang on, let me get it. I'm pretty sure, yes, I keep it here, it's this one. Maldives Sunset, and this is the shimmer. It's basically a shimmer for your body. I don't think it's an oil. Oh no, it says it's a fragranced oil, but it doesn't feel really, really oily. Um, so I picked up the Hawaii Paradise again, because I did actually return this one. And as you can see, it's almost like NARS's orgasm color. That's the best way I can describe it. The pink with the massive shine of gold through it. And then Maldives Sunset is just like a pure champagne. And then they also did another one, Bahama, Bahama something. And that was more bronzy uh, gold. So yeah, picked up that and they are £3.50 each. I then got a couple of Primark Beauty sale items. The first one, I am so excited. They still have the Donut Glazed Lip Gloss in the colour Strawberry Ice. This is reduced from £4 down to 2 If you don't know about this lip gloss, I promise you, if you like lip glosses, I don't even massively like lip glosses to be fair, but if you just trust me on this one, for £2, trust me. I am currently wearing it now on my lips with just like a nude lip liner from P. Louise and it is the best lip product I would go as far to say the best lip product I've ever used. I just love the shine of it. I think it is just the perfect lip gloss. It's not sticky either. I don't ever feel like, I don't know, it's just not like normal lip glosses. Sorry if that's like your 50th time of hearing that from me, but I freaking love it. And then I picked up this because it was on sale for a pound, two pound down to one. It is the Vitamin C Lip Serum uh, and it is vegan. And if you didn't know already, all of Primark's uh, beauty products are cruelty free, which is just fantastic. So yeah, I don't even know what this looks like. I just love a lip oil. Oh cute, it kind of reminds me of like the juicy tubes from Clarins. Right, and I am down to the final item from Primark in this Primark July haul. And this was a splurge. It was one of those I looked at, I said, oh, that's really, really nice, but holy macaroni, that is too expensive for Primark. Walked around the shop, and then at the very end, I said to my mum, I was like, oh, I really like that bag. And she went, I really like the black version of it. And I went, well, I really like the brown version of it. And we both got country events to go to, so why don't we get one each? So mum got the black, and I got the brown. This is the signature handbag of the new Rita Ora collection this year, which is a very festivaly. I didn't even notice it when I was shopping around the store. I was saying everything seems very autumn, very this, but it is, it was super Glastonbury. And I just loved this bag. I love the color of the brown. I love how the gold is that brushed gold. Uh, Mum got the black one, which comes with silver hardware. Oh, I've just noticed it comes with a long strap inside as well, which is really good. But I was really put off buying this because it was 25 pounds for this bag. And for Primark, I just feel that is madness. However, the reason that is, is because as you can see here, or is it that bit? No, maybe there was a sticker. It's basically real suede, so it's real leather. Um, and oh, I've, still, I've got a ca cafe to go. What is this? Beyond Meat Breakfast Sandwich. <laughs> where that came from anyway i just thought this was actually gonna be very used although it was 25 pound i would have rather this is not real suede i don't really care in fact i'd prefer massively prefer if it was not real suede it's one of those primark i think you made a mess up on the fact that you chose a higher quality material i think it should have been synthetic because that would have been more in line with brand ethics but also the fact that you could have made that price point lower because 
so many people I have show, seen and come shot with me showing this and saying how lovely it is but how that is way too expensive. But I am going to keep it because I really, really like it and I think I'll get a lot of use out of it just even for my country festivals. So you can actually extend these straps. So you can have it as a regular strap there or you can have it as this sort of long, long shoulder bag, I suppose, like that. And then, yeah, me and mum were a bit worried that it didn't, it didn't go crossbody, but it does come with a crossbody strap. Right, guys, that's gonna go ahead and conclude everything that I picked up in Primark for the month of July. Make sure to give this video a big thumbs up, hit that subscribe button if you haven't already, and the notification bell to make sure you don't miss any of my uploads. I'm gonna also go ahead and leave some videos on the screen here for you, including the Primark Come Shop With Me, which you need to watch if you haven't watched it already. I've loved spending some time with you. I hope you can spend some more time with me over here and I will see you all in my next video. Ciao!